Hello guys and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing look number two, this week only using the Christmas Eve palette from Udenzai. This was last year's holiday release, one of two palettes, but they brought them back this year. I think what happened was they had stock that came in from the manufacturer, but it was after the Christmas season, so they just held on to them for this year. Anyway, beautiful, beautiful palettes. I am so excited to be doing an entire week of uploads dedicated to this palette. If you want to see what I did to get this look, then don't go anywhere. Before we get going, there is a new product I wanted to try out. I got this off Amazon. This is a whole set of lip liners. Most of them are like deeper reddish burgundy wine sorts of shades, but there are a couple that are lighter, a little bit more nudie colors. The brand is called Italia. Uh, Italia Deluxe and these are the ultra fine lip liners. I will link this down below for you It was a set of 12 I think for like 10 bucks and they came very well reviewed So I wanted to try out a lip liner um, To use it as maybe a matte lipstick sort of thing to put gloss on top because that would give me some more color options But I also just wanted to try it in general to see Why is everybody so excited about lip liners? Like what do they bring? What do they do? So I'm gonna try that on camera right now. This is the shade 1057. It's called black current and I'm going to be pairing it with the NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Rocky Road. Now, I have to say here, when I bought this off Amazon, the picture made it look extremely red. A very cool toned, deep, deep red. Tell me that this looks like the picture on Amazon. Now, this looks a lot like a deeper red toned version of like the Cranberry Pie shade, which I already have. I wanted something that was more red. I think it's pretty. I know I'll use it, but... It is not at all what I was expecting. Anyway, here is the lip liner. Now, I know that the concept of a lip liner, at least part of what I know about the concept of a lip liner, is that it helps with feathering. You know, as you maybe as your lips get older or just if they're dry, your color might feather out a bit. You can also obviously use it to overline if you want to. or to accentuate the cupid's bow. Only once before have I ever had a lip liner and it was basically my lip color so it made no real difference. Now my lips are a bit uneven in that right here is a little bit fuller than this side and I notice it now that I make videos but I never noticed it before. It's not so significant that you might look at me and go her lips are lopsided. It doesn't their lips, it doesn't matter. But if I wanted to overline, this is where I would do it, um, just to try to visually balance that out. And this is me not knowing what I'm doing. I'm just going to fill in a little bit. Then I'll top it with the butter gloss. Okay, so on my lips, I will say this definitely does look more red than it looks in the package. I still don't think it's nearly a good match to the representation on the website at all, but it does look more red than cranberry pie. Okay, let's get into the eye look. So as you know, this is look number two using the Christmas Eve palette. For today's look, I want to do something with these two, this gray and this green matte. And I also want to play with this shimmer over here. I might bring in the sh shimmer here as well. That's kind of my general plan. I've already primed my eyes. I used the Glamlight Icing Primer. As usual, everything I'm using is down below in the description box, so let's go. If I was using the lip liner wrong, I would very much appreciate you guys educating me. I'm going to take Ice Crystal on this stubby brush. I don't really know what I'm doing when it comes to lip liners. Again, the one time I used one, it was just my lip color, so... If I really screwed it up, you couldn't tell. I think I did fine today. I mean, I've watched enough beauty YouTube videos to see other people using lip liners. And I know that sometimes people will use them. Look at this pastel. This is perfect. I know that sometimes people will use them as more of a matte lipstick. You know, just put lip liner over the whole lip area and then maybe top it with a gloss. So obviously that's an option. Now I'm grabbing a softer blending brush and picking up just now. And I'll lay this in the rest of the crease area. I'll also carry it down onto the lower, I mean the um, the outer corner. And I'll use this these tones to just blow out the, the look a bit more. Anyway, some people will 
use lip liner as a lipstick and just put gloss over top, which is probably more along the lines of what I'll do. I'm not too interested in lip stuff that I would want to do the really fancy lip things that you see where they line and then they put like two or three shades and get an ombre. I think those are really pretty, but I, I'm just not that interested in that right now. Maybe that'll change at some point. It's just not where I am right now. I do want to deepen this, so now I'm going to take a smaller and yet denser still blending brush. This is Blend Bunny B2, and I'm picking up Night Sky. There are two really, really deep blues in this palette. Night Sky is more of a warm-toned, slightly murky, like a, an extremely dark navy brownish. You know, <laughs> that's what I'm using right now. And the other dark blue in this palette is called Christmas Eve quite appropriately, and it is a just a pure navy. That's what it is. It's a navy blue matte. I decided to use this one instead because it had a slight warmer base to it, and that's going to work nicely with the green. And I just keep hitting this with a clean blending brush to work the shades together. Back into the green matte, I want to bring the green back into the look a little bit since the blue kind of drowned it. And um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do on the lower lash line, so I'm leaving that alone for now. Back into that gray matte as well. This is such a nice pastel. Alright, so that's where we are right now, and I think it's lovely. I do really like that so far. I want to pick up, I want to play with this light purple shimmer. It's called Wonderful. I'm going to pick it up on this flat brush and then I'm going to spray it just because I know that I'm going to get a bit more sparkle and shine with it sprayed and it will also control fallout. I don't want it to drop down all over my face. Not that I have any face makeup on anyway and rarely do, but I, I just don't want it on my face. So Because if I, if I get fallout on my face, then I have to either totally wipe everything off or put face makeup on. And for me, it's all about the eyes. Here is wonderful. Oh, that's so pretty. It looks beautiful with this gray matte. Mmm, I love that. I love that so much. I don't know why I didn't think to do that before. Lavender and gray are a match made in heaven. That's why as you age and your, your hair lightens and your skin undertones lighten, lavender is probably a great choice, at least to try out. Maybe you have really warm undertones and, and lavender might not work, but Lavender and gray look amazing, and I know that with me and my skin undertones, as I get older and my hair gets lighter and more and more silver, lavender is going to be probably just a go-to shade for me. Lavender and gray, purple and gray in general, look phenomenal together. I feel that I have to do something between this shimmer and these mattes. There's just too much of a break. If I, if I had a green shimmer, I would bring it in. If I had like a light any light green shimmer honestly but there's no green shimmer in this palette which is sad I'm gonna pick up snowflake instead same flat brush and I'll spray this as well I did pick up less of snowflake because it's just a transition from the one into the next oh and that one's a bit flaky I actually felt it fall onto my lap and you can see it in my eyelashes here but it's pretty it's pretty 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 I don't want to cover the purple I just want to meet it Yeah, that's going to help me transition into the mattes. And you might be wondering how. Then pick up one of my matte brushes. With no additional products, I'm just touching them together. I'm not entirely sure how. Honestly, I'm not. I'm not entirely sure why this is going to work better than simply the purple into the blue-green. I think it's because the silvery shade is more of a neutral. I could be wrong. Maybe I'm just, you know, pulling things out of thin air and making it up as I go along. Um, I think that this is a better transition. Could be personal preference. Could be color theory, which I don't understand. I have no idea. I've also gone back into that green mat and again, tapping it on the edge here. Perhaps it would have been fine to have the purple into the, the murkier green. I'm not totally sure. I just feel like... There was too much of a difference between the two. Purple into blue would have been fine, but because I had sort of a murky, dirty green tone out here, I think that using the silver in the center was more grounding. It kind of 
brought things back to a more neutral place and then the neutral into the green, if that makes sense. Now, I'm not sure how neutral silver is, but silver is a metallic version of gray and gray is more neutral, so. I kind of wish there were just a light green tone shimmer in here. Maybe on my finger, I'll pick up snow light just a little bit. Just a little, little bit. I mean, there's no finesse to it at this point. I'm just throwing color on everywhere. <laughs> Let's do something on the lower lash line. I'm going to be similar in the lower lash line. I'm going to put Ice Crystal as the full inner corner highlight. So I'm going to start with the lower lash line in this small and pinched brush, picking up nowhere, and I'll lay that on the inner lower lash line. This is the only purple matte in the palette. And honestly, I feel that this palette would have benefited from, instead of two very, very dark blue mattes, if one of them had been purple. Because we've got this mid-tone purple matte, we've got two purpley shimmers, and yet no deep purple matte at all. This is the shade just now. And with a flat or smudger brush, I'm going back into night sky just to deepen this outer area. Pressing it into the lashes only out here in this outer third. Kind of wish that I had a navy blue to do a wing. That'd be a pretty wing, right? An inner corner highlight of Ice Crystal. So picking up a small blending brush, here is Ice Crystal. It's going to tie in so beautifully to where I laid it down in the inner crease. And just cool off this space, brighten it a lot. Here we go. You guys already know what I'm wearing on my lips. In my waterline, I used this shade from ColourPop. It's the color Fluffy. It's just a nice light pink color. And then I did put on some winged eyeliner. I lined my entire upper lash line and did an inner and outer wing. I think it's pretty. I don't know. My wings are still a mess. They're still a hot mess. On my face, I have a bit of blush from my Tarte Blush Palette and a bit of highlighter from the BH Cosmetics Froze Highlighter. And that's everything. Do tell me what you think. Tell me what you think. I think it's pretty. It does remind me a good amount of a couple other looks I've done. It's making me think of the Serenity palette from Cosmic Brushes. I'll have to look and see if I did a look like this with that palette, but I'm quite sure that I did. And it's making me think of a reel I had done on Instagram ages ago using the Michaela palette from Glamlight, where I did kind of like sea foam and then I... I'm pretty sure I tapped a yellow shimmer onto the center of a green shimmer. I'm not but sure. This is not totally unique to, for me, but I love it. And honestly, I really, really enjoyed that matte gray at the inner corner. I think it's beautiful. I think it's a lovely light tone. It's probably, it's probably not the best color for somebody with warmer undertones, but for me, it works out really well. It is light enough to make a good inner corner highlight. That's what I use today, obviously. It's also light enough to put everywhere, and I loved, I loved pairing it with that light purple shimmer. So beautiful. So, so pretty. I would love to hear your thoughts. Do let me know how you like it. Remember to check that box also for look number one this week using the Christmas Eve palette. Also, my week of playlist and my Udenzai playlist. It's all in there. I appreciate your time. I hope you have enjoyed this video and will consider liking and subscribing before you go. And until I see you in my next video, have a great day, guys. Bye.